you can start your five ton air conditioners uh, without a problem to handle that inrush current. So we've got more powerful controller, we've got the bi-directional DC EV charger, we've got higher capacity battery packs. A nearly 40% market share in Australia. Um, we have number one market share in Sweden, Ireland. Uh, we're in the top two or three in Germany and the UK. Uh, number two, I believe, in South Africa. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming back to you from RE Plus, the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. This afternoon, I'm joined by Rob Schwarzinger, CEO of the North America business for SIG Energy. We're looking at the newly upgraded SIG Energy Sigen Store 5-in-1 solar and energy storage system. Rob, always great seeing you. Great to see you too, Joe, thank you. Yeah, thanks for taking time to chat sure. with us and our audience. So I understand that you've got major upgrades on the Sigen Store 5-in-1 system. Yes, so uh, uh, we are in full swing of our rebrand and uh, from Point Guard Energy to SIG Energy. Uh, in North America as well. And with that, we have um, our upgraded SIG Energy product that's coming um, at the end of October uh, into the US. So um, I'll take you through some of the changes. Um, our controller uh, inverter is moving from 11.4 kilowatts to 11.5 kilowatts of power. Um, we have also recently moved from a um, 85 LRA, so that's a locked rotor amp um, rating to 190 locked rotor amps and with that you can start your five ton air conditioners uh, without a problem to handle that inrush current. Um, on the battery side um, we are moving from our five kilowatt hour battery pack to six kilowatt hour battery packs uh, and from our eight kilowatt hour battery pack to a nine kilowatt hour battery pack and those that change is coming at the same price so we are providing a uh, a, a, a cost advantage to the homeowner uh, by making the price uh, lower per kilowatt hour. Um, so those are the, the major upgrades on the stack um, architecture. So uh, Point Guard Home with the rebrand is now called Sigen Store. Um, and so that's, those are the, the upgrades that are coming uh, for Sigen Store. So Rob, you, you touched on it now. Um, you're now operating fully under the SIG Energy brand here in North America. You know, for those of you who've been following for a while, you know that we've, we've introduced the, the Point Guard brand starting at about two years ago or a year and a half ago. Then it was a, a Point Guard powered by SIG Energy, but now we're fully under the SIG Energy brand. And the product itself is, is no longer known as Point Guard Home, but is now the Sigen Store, correct? That's correct, yes. Okay. So we decided um, to rebrand back to SIG Energy. Um, SIG Energy globally has had incredible success. Um, uh, our our Global shipments are, you know, we're selling more than 30,000 battery battery systems a month now. Uh, so the, the volume is huge. And so um, the brand has been building extremely well on a global level. And so we decided that we really don't need to keep the Point Guard brand alive uh, and we can benefit from the brand strength uh, of SIG Energy globally. It also makes us more efficient and, and effective in terms of not having to manage two different brands and, and optimizing our marketing uh, towards one unified global brand. So that's why we decided to go back to SIG Energy. And with that, there are some name changes that have come, but also now product upgrades. Excellent, excellent. So again, for, for those of you out there that may not be familiar yet with the SIG Energy brand, this is a very well-established global brand. I believe already top three market share in some of the top European markets, the Australian market. What else can you share with us about sort of international uh, traction and success? Yes, so um, one of the major uh, other global markets in the world is Australia. Uh, and we are by far now number one in the global, in, in the Australian market. So we hold a nearly 40% market share in Australia. Wow. Um, yeah. We have number one market share in Sweden, Ireland. Uh, we're in the top two or three in Germany and the UK. Uh, number two, I believe, in South Africa. So we're becoming uh, or have become a, a top global player uh, in the solar and battery storage industry. Excellent, excellent. Now you mentioned there's a couple of uh, upgrades in the installability area as well. Can you just explain to the audience a little bit about what, what's changed with the install? Yes, sure. So um, in terms of our load hub, so this is our gateway, our energy gateway that allows um, a backup capability of, of the home, uh, including uh, smart breakers uh, and controllable loads. We have done 
15 to 16 um, upgrades on the installability of that system. Uh, uh, it's easier to maintain over time. Uh, so that has been uh, completely overhauled for faster inst installation, easier installation and maintainability. Now, Rob, I, I also understand you recently had a pretty significant price drop that you announced going into RE Plus this year. Explain a little bit for the audience what has changed in terms of pricing, because I know you were really you know, taking some serious moves to help bolster installers, make sure that solar installers survive this transition as the residential tax credit is yeah. set to expire at the end of the year. That's right. So uh, with the ITC going away, with the 30% tax credit going away in 2026, we felt it necessary to to do our part to really um, support installers and homeowners to uh, still be able to have benefit from solar and battery storage. So um, we, uh, we are moving very, very aggressively to support uh, this, this, uh, this direction uh, by a significant and disruptive price uh, reduction. Um, you know, installers that we've been talking to that have been installing uh, point guard uh, systems for a while, um, didn't really know how to make uh, uh, things pencil and how to be um, of benefit to homeowners uh, without the tax credit, but we have worked with them and with our price reduction, they are now moving confidently uh, and selling, uh, um, uh, selling systems to homeowners already for 2026 uh, installation and providing the same kind of benefit to them without the tax credit. So this is a huge challenge that we that we have seen in the market, and we have taken it on head on uh, to support our installers and homeowners to continue having the benefit of solar and battery storage. Great, great. Now I know one question a lot of folks are going to have out there, and one that we've we've covered in the, the past is the bidirectional DC EV charger. So yes. I notice I notice you have the the bidirectional DC EV charger module here in the stack. That's right. When is it going to be available for consumers and installers? So it's already available. Um, we have been selling it in in Germany and some uh, European countries for uh, for quite a while. We launched the bidirectional DC EV charger um, about four three or four months ago in the U.S. and we now have. Um, uh, still under a hundred systems um, uh, installed, but, but we have these installed. We are today um, uh, backing up homes in power outages with this bi-directional DC charger that is connected to your EV. So we can actually discharge um, EVs to, to back up uh, uh, homes. We are also providing time of use services um, where the homeowner can plug in, discharge the EV, during times of high electricity rates to offset that high cost. Um, so we're doing that today. Now, I wanna mention that we're still in a, a gray area in with the discharging functionality of that charger because we are not yet at industry accepted standard. So we're working with, um, uh, with a smart charging standard um, uh, and those cars that comply with that smart charging standard, we can also discharge. However, it all depends on the EV manufacturer, whether or not they allow that. Uh, some EV man manufacturers don't allow that and they have a software limitation in their cars that disallows uh, discharging. So, um, you know, we're, we're again, uh, we are in a, in a time that um, is before uh, accepted industry standards. We can discharge a lot of cars, um, but uh, there is a risk that, uh, that buyers will take um, because we don't control what EV makers do, right? They, they, can, uh, uh, they can do what they want. Now, charging uh, works with, with, uh, with all uh, cars that support DC charging. Uh, so we do have a, a Tesla NACS uh, uh, adapter version and a CCS1 adapter version. And so we can fast charge um, those cars easily uh, with this 25 kilowatt um, capacity charger by using um, three power sources all at once. So we can import from the grid up to 11.5 kilowatts. Um, we can add whatever the solar can contrib contribute in its native DC electricity form without converting it into AC. And then we can even boost the charging speed by, um, by adding battery by draw, power. By right? drawing from the batteries in the Exactly, stack. and so you can add those three energy sources up to reach a 25 kilowatt um, charging speed uh, continuously. 
Incredible. So, so yeah. the capability, the capability is physically here already in the, the hardware. The capability is there. Right. Exactly. In fact, by the way, if you guys haven't seen our previous video on bi-directional EV charging is here, uh, go back and watch the previous video where we show a successful demonstration with a Mercedes, a Rivian, uh, and even a Ford F-150 Lightning with the bi-directional charger here. Yeah. Now, Rob, I understand that you guys have a meter collar adapter coming soon as well. Can you tell that, us more about that? Sure, that's correct. We have a self-developed meter collar. Um, we are um, about to enter into the process of utility approvals with that meter collar. Uh, so we will be doing our first utility pilots in December uh, of this year, January of next year. And we expect that we will have a meter collar in California um, sometime in the middle to end of Q1 of 2026. So this will, uh, again, go a long way in terms of um, decreasing installation cost and speeding up installation, uh, the installation in general. Uh, but that is, is a, a huge addition to our portfolio um, to help installers and, and homeowners. Um, we will still be able to do load control uh, because we, we are integrating uh, with uh, Eden Smart Breakers. Um, so uh, while, you're, uh, uh, while you're still working with the main panel, you, uh, the installer is going to be able to just replace some breakers in the main panel with smart breakers that we can control with a meter collar and shed loads in uh, the case of a power outage. So we will retain a lot of the functionality that we have in the load hub already uh, with the meter collar when it uh, launches. So am I hearing you correctly that if you choose to interconnect with the meter collar and then you could use smart breakers in the customer's existing circuit breaker panel, so do you even have to use a load hub in that configuration? No, so in that configuration, the load hub uh, is not used. Okay. Uh, the meter collar itself is an MID. It is an automatic transfer, transfer switch, but it has more functionality um, that the load hub also has. Excellent, yep. excellent. Well, folks, this has been a you know presentation on the major upgrades on the Sygen Store platform. Again, for, formerly we called it Point Guard here in the States. Now it is Sig Energy, the company, Sygen Store, the five-in-one solar and energy storage load management solution. So we've got more powerful controller. We've got the bi-directional DC EV charger. We've got higher capacity battery packs, compatibility with Eaton smart breakers coming soon, and the new meter collar adapter coming soon. Rob, is there anything exactly. else that the, the audience should know about what, what does SIG Energy and for the size and store product, what's, what's coming down the road? Um, so we are also launching a microinverter. Um, we are doing our first pilots in the US um, uh, right after this show, actually. Uh, we have already installed uh, quite a number of systems globally, um, and we are adapting that to the US market. So once the pilots are done, uh, we will launch that product uh, probably by the end of the year. Um, and so you can, you can watch out for our mic converter coming. All right, and I'm sure we'll have coverage on that coming up soon on yeah. the channel. Well, Rob, thanks for taking more time to Thank chat you, with us. Hey folks, uh, the reason we come to these conferences is to make sure that you all that can't come out here physically and walk the floor with us, uh, to, but, but make sure that you all still stay up to date with all the latest solar technology and product information. So if you wanna see more videos like this, hit the thumbs up button, uh, hit the subscribe button as well. That way, as we have new product news, new product releases, everything will come up on your feed and you won't miss anything. But that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.